Let's walk through the process of exporting your document as a single page PDF first, and then we'll move on to a multi page PDF. Tap the export button, scroll to the end of the options, and you'll find two options PDF flattened and PDF vector. PDF flattened makes a rasterized version of your image without any vector data included in the file. The vector PDF format is used when you want to preserve graphics for scaling without losing resolution or dimensions. It includes all the vector data in your PDF and is typically used for technical drawings or some large print designs. One downside is that the format does not support many dynamic brush features, and so is limited to fill, pen, fountain, dynamic, fixed width, and dotted pens. Next, we'll choose the region of the canvas that we want to export. With the screenshot option, anything you have within the current boundaries of the screen will be included. Entire drawing includes everything on canvas, including beyond the current boundaries of the screen. When you want a PDF of a specific size, you'll need to create an artboard first. Then open the export menu and your custom size will be included as a third option. These toggles control the background of the PDF. You can also create a combination of these options. If you've selected the flatten PDF option, there will be a few output size options down here. Finally, tap export up here and choose your export location. Let's move on to multi-page PDFs. Multi-page PDF exports are currently limited to dealing with documents imported from outside of concepts. A typical workflow would be marking up a design sprint or maybe signing a document. Tap on the import icon up here, navigate to your file location, and select the PDF file. When the document has more than one page, they will appear as a scrollable menu on the side of the screen. I'll just drag in a few pages to demonstrate. In case you want to reorder these, Concepts reads the pages from top to bottom and left to right. Now tap Export and you'll find a PDF Bounds option. Only the pages brought into the canvas will be included in your multi-page PDF. In case you don't want to mess with the order of things, the Original Pages option maintains the original order of the document and includes any original frame added to the canvas and its content. 